Intellecto Kids. This is Cupra. She can transform. This is Wilfram. He can light up. This is Hydrogenium. He can fly. This is Argentum. She can become a mirror. This is Ferrum. He is very strong. And this is me, Professor MJ. We are the Mendeleev team. Whose footprints? Here in this great big laboratory reside tiny little creatures called chemical elements. They help me to conduct my research and do experiments. Ooh, ooh, ah, no, no, ah, ah, ooh. Oh, how clumsy of me. I'd better get a rag to wipe this up. I just need to learn how to concentrate. If I can manage that, then I'll be able to glow. That's what Grandpa Wolfram says, and he knows everything. Come on, a little more. Yes, it worked a little bit. I did it. Oh, what's this? Oh, who's there? Wolfie? Ah, Koopy, it's you. You really scared me. What happened? Why are you looking around? Quiet, there's somebody here. Who's here? I don't see anyone. Do you see those footprints? Yes. I don't know who made them, but they must belong to someone. Like who? I don't know. The prints are red, see? And there are so many of them. It looks as if a huge caterpillar walked through here. That's right. A giant red caterpillar with 140 legs must have left them. So what should we do? We can find it by tracking the footprints. L l let's better hide somewhere. No way. Adventure awaits and a mystery investigation. The case of the red caterpillar. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? It has a scary ring to it. That's OK. I learned to concentrate, which means I can light up. My grandpa taught me how to do it. And you can always pretend to be an ordinary wire, so no one will notice you. That I can do. Just give me a second. I need to concentrate. Great! So, are you ready to go? Let's go! We see that in nature. Different things have different colors. Grass is green, wood is brown, and water's blue. It's all thanks to the special coloring substances called pigments. And back in ancient times, people learned to use pigments to make paints of different colors, which can be used to paint pictures. Huh. The footprints stop here. But where did the caterpillar go? <gasps> There's someone here! <laughs> Relax, Koopy. It's Professor Mendeleev Jr. Professor, Professor MJ. MJ! Professor ah, MJ! It's you, little ones. Hello. How are you? We found the footprints of a red caterpillar and followed them here. But they stopped. Did the caterpillar turn into a butterfly and fly away? No, I haven't seen one. But I accidentally spilled some red liquid here and made a big puddle I had to wipe up. So there was never any caterpillar. But then who left the footprints? That's quite a mystery. But I think I can crack it. I just need to concentrate. Footprints. Footprints. Oh, there are two sets of footprints here. Wolfie, but we were only following one. Wait, hold on. These are, these are my <laughs> footprints. <laughs> they really are yours. <laughs> the case of the red caterpillar has been solved. How about I give you some paper and different colored paint? Then you can leave your footprints everywhere. And we can make a painting. I know what we can paint. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Would you look at that? A portrait of me. <laughs> Professor MJ, you need to learn how to concentrate. Oh, looks like I missed something. I was playing hide and seek with Farron Hido. You haven't seen them, have you? No, we haven't. Then whose footprints are these? Thank <laughs> you.